Travis Mannion is one of many American heroes that have gone above and beyond the call of duty, giving his life to defend our freedoms. Before leaving for his second tour in Iraq, Travis was asked why he had to go. He responded very simply, if not me, then who? Today, his patriotism, valor, and life of service lives on through the Travis Mannion Foundation, helping wounded veterans, assisting families of our fallen heroes, and challenging the next generation. The Travis Mannion Foundation and the mission continues have been intrinsically linked since Travis served in Iraq with Navy SEAL Eric Greitens, the founder of the Mission Continues Fellowship Program. Inspired by Travis's service, the fellowship program was designed to honor the fallen by challenging the living through community service and volunteerism. Fellowships provide monetary grants to cover cost of living expenses for wounded and disabled veterans who still have the desire to serve but whose disabilities prevent further service in the military. These unique fellowships transform the lives of veterans, providing both the motivation and the skills to successfully transition back into their community. These fellows become peer mentors, assist other veterans, work with disabled children, and volunteer for local charitable organizations. Through this work, the example Travis Mannion set for his life continues by giving every wounded veteran an opportunity to have an impact on our country again and ensuring that every fallen veteran's mission can continue through on-the-ground service right here at home. The Travis Mannion Foundation is committed to helping shape the next generation of leaders by demonstrating that character matters every day. While the courage and character Travis Mannion displayed in his final moments is inspiring, the truth is it was hundreds of little decisions made over a lifetime that defined him. Through the Character Does Matter leadership program, students learn that courage is not just about the big things, but the little decisions as well. Speakers use relevant, relatable stories to walk students through little choices that make a huge impact on the course of their lives. Before leaving for his last tour in Iraq, Travis Mannion visited Rescue Team 1 in New York City, famous for their immediate response on 9-11 and for losing nearly all their members on that fateful day. When he came home from his visit, he handed a ball cap to his father given to him by one of those firefighters and pointed to the words inscribed in the back of the cap, 9-11, never forget. He told his father to wear it while he was gone and said, remember, this is what we're fighting for. The Travis Mannion Foundation created the 9-11 Heroes Run, now being staged at various locations around the country, bringing community by community together every September 11th so as to never forget the sacrifice of all our heroes in uniform, military, police, firefighters, and EMTs. And with all money raised benefiting the families of those lost, wounded, or injured in the line of duty, Imagine, on September 11th, all across the country, hundreds of thousands of people coming out and running or walking, not just to raise money, but to remember all those who gave their tomorrow for our today. Yeah, we've learned a lot from that warrior. And, uh, and then I said, awesome. You will continue. Let's see how it goes, The way you work, John. The Iraqi army colonel who spoke at Travis's memorial service talked about him as a brave warrior who wasn't afraid to die. This inspirational example has rallied many to the call, including me. <laughs>